Yoka Mutonga and I'm the research and inventory manager at Bookbank Trust. My role on this project is basically working with the research interns to make sure that the work is actually done and this included um, bringing on more interns, deciding what part of the collection we are going to digitize for the project. My name is Chao Tayana Maina. I'm a digital heritage specialist and I have been advising and training the interns here at the Macmillan Library on the digitization process uh, for the ordinances, gazettes and newspapers that they've been working on. We started this work in November 2020 and we've been at it for about two and a half months now because we took a, a December break. and. Um, the first workshop that we held was basically learning what is digitization, how do you use cameras, how do you enter metadata, and metadata is just a complicated name for all the possible information you can get about an object. Immediately after that workshop we then commenced on digitizing the first part of the collection. And so yeah, we did that all of November and December, took a break and came back and then had our midline um, digitization workshop. Which was basically looking at how the interns have been doing and how the process is. It was more of a very interactive sort of session in which we were listening to what the interns experience were, but also assessing the quality of the data they produced. So the assessment of the data is happening on two levels. One, looking at the quality of the digitized images themselves, and the second, looking at the quality of the metadata. So when it comes to looking at the quality of the images, some of the things we were looking at are, for example, lighting. Uh, are the images overexposed or underexposed? Um, the level of focus, are they blurry, are they not? Can you, can you see the text when you zoom in and when you zoom out? The second thing was looking at the quality of the metadata. So is the data uniform, is it structured? Are the fields that they're supposed to be inputting, are they all there? And in the sense that also the metadata needs to be aligned. So are they using the same terms, are they using the same names, are they, are they using the same data format? So these are some of the things that we were assessing. I think um, there's definitely going to be a difference in terms of the data produced before the second workshop and the data produced after the second workshop because now the interns will have sort of, sort of gotten a flow of what they need to be aware of as opposed to just depending on COCAO or the supervisory staff to advise them. They now have this internal instinct on what makes a good image, what makes a good metadata sheet. So it's going to be very um, important for us to assess the data produced between the two workshops. So today's workshop has been really, really phenomenal because it's given us a standard SI unit which we can follow through moving forward. There's quite a lot to learn in the process. You can't just know it one day, you get to do it and then you realize, oh, you can do it like this, you can do it like this. But once you get the hang of it, it becomes very, quite easy or quite very doable to execute the expected results. So when you get such information and putting it into context actually has helped my history and also in the area of development where I know I was part of a project that preserved very important collection of our country and the neighboring countries. Yeah. I could say I'm a bit of an expert at the moment, uh, working with the camera, with the lightings, um, knowing um, the right lighting for a perfect image. It's been very good to see that the library staff, the interns themselves, have been able to contextualize and sort of like revise the format of the digitization workflow to suit their needs, whether they're working in the basement or they're working in the children's section where they want. Between the whole team, right now we've done about 16,000. We hope to get to around 22,000 by the end of, um, that's, that's the bare minimum that we should achieve. So just based on how fast the team is working, we might, who knows, maybe get to 30,000 that would make everyone, all of us very happy. As we finalize the project, we have another workshop that's coming along to sort of uh, understand the data produced after the second workshop, how what the quality is, but also we have a couple of um, public dissemination workshops in which we're looking at how do we sensitize the public both on the digitization process and also how we can use this data moving forward because the whole point of digitization is not just to keep the data in hard drives, it's to make it publicly accessible. Perhaps that's the most important and long-term part for us as people who have been part of this project to make sure that this data remains relevant, remains accessible, and um, is 
relevant to the context of the audience that we are intending to reach.